Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. This is Balikis. Welcome to today's class. So today is an how to cut and sew Egyptian hijab with side plates. So I'm using one here the fabric. I'm using a lighter fabric. Then office paint, chalk, scissors, and then a ruler. So the first thing I'm going to do is to fold my fabric into two. So I'm just folding into two. After which I'm just going to fold into four. So I'm having to close the hands. So I'm just folding into four. So I folded it already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my head circumference measurement. Since this is folded into four, my head circumference is 20 divided by four, so that's five. So I'm just going to chalk five. I'm not adding any allowance because this is a stretching material. So I'm just checking five. And then from that five, I'm just going to make a slat line to the last edge of my fabric so I'm just making a stupid line then with my ruler I'm just going to make the line more prominent then the next thing I'm going to do is to go to the edge of that place and then I'll take the measurement today so I have like 31.5 so I'll just mark 31.5 round another way you can do this is to come to your slant line and then go up by 2 inches then curve it to the other side but this also works you just mark it all round And after marking, this is what we are going to have. So we are just going to cut it that way. I'm just going to cut it out now. So I'm tracing my line. So I'm just cutting out. So after cutting out, this is what we are going to have. Then I'm just going to open the hopper here. I'm just going to open it and then divide it into two. So one part is the front piece and the other is the back piece. So I'm just going to use my half inch pen to just clip down the part I'm going to sew down. Now we'll do the same with the other side also. So I'm done putting it together. I'm just going to turn it to the right side. 
show you what it looks like. So after sewing it, we should have something like this. Then the next thing is to cut our cap. So I'm just going to fold my fabric into two on the right side. Then I'm just taking my circumference measurements. I want four inches. I'm just going to fold into four. So I'm thinking my jab length, my circumference length, I want a full cap. So that's 10 inches. And I'm going for four inches for my jab width. And I'm just connecting the line. And I'm just going to cut. So I'm just notching the parts there. So we have a cap already. And that's what we are going to attach to the upper hand here. So the first thing we are going to do is to connect the two sides. So I'll just take it to my same machine and just connect them. So I'm just removing my straight pins as I'm connecting. Yeah. So I'm done sewing both sides now. This is what we have. So turning to the right side. That's the result. So the next thing we are going to do is to fix our jab cap. So to do that, I'm just going to take the midpoint here. So I'm taking the midpoint of the head circumference. Then I notched it. So coming to the notched part of the jab and connecting it to that of the cap right side facing each other I'll well, just start pinning down and after pin this is what we are going to have so we'll just sew it around like that so I've done that already and this is the result we have so the next thing is to go to our side plates. So I'll just come down from that line by 10 inches. That is where I want my plating to stop. If you want, you might make yours 8 inches, 7 inches. But I want mine to stop at 10 inches. So this is what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to continue plating where I sew on that line. I'm going to continue making pleats there till I get to the part I felt. So that's basically what we are going to do. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine now and then start pleating. Just pleating. So after pleating is what we are going to have. Then we just go to the other side also. And we do the same thing. So after pleating both sides, this is the result. So 
if you want your own middle side to go up and more you just reduce the 10 inches then the next thing we're going to do is to hem the down parts and you can also overlock it if you want so this is the finished look of my job you can see the side plates of both sides then the back also so it's very easy within a few minutes they're done so make sure you try us and if you have more questions please hello what to ask thank you so much for watching Take care.